What is up, everyone? It's your boy, Mad Panda, and today we're going to be playing part 10 of Assassin's Creed 2. Uh, as you guys can see, I got myself some new armor. I finished renovating the villa of Auditore. I ended up, uh, I don't know if I'm going to get all these treasure chests because it's got to take a while, but I ended up getting all the feathers from Tuscany, the villa, and this area. So we only have two regions to get feathers from. I think we're about half the way there when it comes to feathers. So yeah, there's that. I pretty much put in a couple of hours into this game. I think at this point, I think maybe like 8 or max 10 hours. Uh, I can't really be too sure about like how long I've really been playing. But uh, overall, story-wise, I think I haven't even spent like 5 hours. But extra time, I think about a couple hours. Oh, there's, there's a couple of chests here. Might as well, you know, get them all while they're on guarded. <clears throat> Well, that was that guy. If I remember correctly, this is the dude that gives us like a pass, like where to go and stuff. Like after he give, after the mission, like he gives us like a certain cape or some shit. Do I just like come here or what? There's Lorenzo, his wife. There's Giuliano, Lorenzo's brother. But where is Francesco? There he is. Come to strike. Crepa! Ah! Traditore! Giuliano! No! No! In nome di Dio! Vi scongiuro, pietà! Nessuno accetta! Dai, maledetto! Yo, yo, that's tough. I don't even remember this scene in the OG game. Holy fuck. You're just done, Lorenzo. Your entire family dies by my sword. Infamous! Oh, damn. It's a little red. Oh, they're not gonna read it to us? Alright. Well, why didn't that do like jump in? All last like second. Oh, that was nice. Double assassination. Oh. I think I should probably get a new sword. Oh crap! I'm attacking uh, Lorenzo. My bad. Oh wait, I think I have my secret attack. Oh shit, that didn't work. Oh, there we go. That's what I wanted to do. Uh, come here. I'm gonna do that, uh, Scorpion. Get over here. There we go. That's beautiful. Hey, Where's everyone? Oh, damn. Slit your throat. Come on by and get your uh, throat slit. There we go. That was nice. Lorenzo can handle himself a bit more, right? I think I could grab this dude now. Nope. This guy doesn't want to die. Fuck. I'm literally kicking him in his balls at this point. He's never having kids. Now he's never having kids. Like, he's dead. I wonder if I could come from behind and actually stab his cool pass. Nope. I actually want to take him out, like, last second. I will punch him, though, because he was an asshole killing that other homeboy. That other homeboy, uh... Oh, might as well just kill him. Fuck it. Defend Lorenzo Dimitri. Oh, shit. So that dude guy's just gonna like fucking run away? Damn, what a bitch. Let's see if they give us any like backstory on him. Okay, if they don't read it to us, then I'm not reading it myself until like that game. <laughs> you saved my life. It's nothing. But the man who did this to you has to pay. Ah, not now. I need help first. To my home. People I trust. Can you? Stay close. People I trust. So we gotta defend his ass. Oh, and he's gonna keep his I'm health from before. That's yeah, gonna be a bit tough. Hang on, signori. I'm moving as fast as I can. <laughs> signori. Can he climb buildings? Well, that's not gonna work. Quit. <laughs> I want to get him like low enough in health where I could probably grapple him and just uh, 
No need for that. I'm more than capable of cutting you down. I think I could let him fucking, you know, I think I could run through here without really getting to Oh shit. Oh he's part of the part of the crew, my bad. Are those two part of the crew? That guy isn't. We should be able to get through without any like inconvenience. Unless they start attacking me, then yeah, there's a problem there. Alright, it's the other side. Like, don't mind me while I'll sneak by. There it is. Ah oh, shit. I knew it couldn't be that sweet. I should be good as long as I take out like this dude over here. Okay, he's never gonna die. Come here. Fucking poked his ass. He's dead. No, he's literally not even defending himself. He's literally about to die right here. There you go. I probably should have used my throwing last, but fuck it. Falling. Fuck it. Lorenzo has been wounded. Aprite la porta. What's the password? Polizia. Open the maledetta porta. Why the Christ greatest? Come in quickly. <laughs> the city is at war. Hurry. Wait. I am in your debt. Tell me, why did you help me? You are not the only one who lost a brother to the Pazzi. My name is Ezio Auditore. Ah. Your Giovanni's son. Your father was a good man. He understood honor, loyalty. The Pazzi thugs are storming the Palazzo della Signoria. We cannot hold them off much longer. No. If they get inside, they'll murder our supporters and put their own devils in power. Then my survival would mean nothing. I have to... Uh, uh. Francesco de Pazzi. Help save our city, Auditore. Kill him. Damn, so uh, in these two years, it's fine fucking to kill anyone at this point, right? <laughs> in the city. So what, we're gonna follow them or, or what? Poliziano, Poliziano, professional scholar, poet, somewhat of a prodigy, Poliziano learned Latin and Greek at age 10 and 18. He had really become a published author. Lorenzo de Medici hired him to act as a tutor for his children and made sure he received post to Studio Florentino. F no, Fiorentino. No, Fiorentino. Poliziano. I'm not gonna read all that. Fucking. Right, let's go. Uh, okay, we might get a backstory Francesco on this oh, boy. Brought up as a noble in a city captivated by the newly rich Medici family, Francesco was taught to hate the middle class and its social climbers. Dismayed, he watched as the Medici bank... That literally looked like he was about to fuck him. <laughs> his influence over the Florentine government slipped away. It looks like the Spaniard offered him a solution. Rather than compete in something as dirty as banking, Francesco only had to do one thing for the Templars. One thing to put the middle class in their place for good. Kill the Medici. Giovanni Auditore tried to stop Francesco by putting him in jail. But the Templars took care of that. Yo, that's fucked. They did my boy Giovanni dirty. Damn. Alright, so, uh, should we do this mission? Let's do this Signori, mission. I saw Francesco lead a battalion around the back of the Palazzo della Signoria. I fear he may be seeking another way in. Go, before it's too late. Do what you can! Alright, let's get her. Farewell, Francesco. Find and kill Francesco de Pazzi. We're actually getting rid of these dudes pretty pretty fast. I think this is the third one of a, out of a line of, like, of what I should probably say, like, seven? So, welcoming party over here. Oh, we gotta climb the roof? Damn. I mean, you'd expect an assassin to be on the rooftops, you know? It's kind of my fault, too. There we go. Oh, he was talking to me. Ah, oh, shit. He was gonna die, dude. The fucking gust of wind, he was dropping to the ground. Alright, let's see. I'm gonna equip my hidden blade. I'm trying to kill all, do all my assassinations with, like, the hidden blade, you know. I think it feels, uh, better. More purposeful.
Ooh, there's multiples. All right. What if I just like don't fight at all? Can I like go down? Yeah. What if I just don't fight at all and I just like climb? Oh shit! You're coming with me. Is there a way to like distract them while they're walking? Shit. Oh, that's not gonna work. I'm out this hole. Damn it! All right, fuck it. Oh, okay. It's just this good dude with the fedora. Ah, oh, shit. So you gotta damage them a bit before you can even like slice his throat. Then. That's a shame. As long as they keep attacking themselves, I'm good. It's these dudes that I kind of have a problem with. Oh, he's fucking gone. Oh, I'm gone. Damn. Right, I gotta climb that shit. Are they fighting each other? What? I think they are fighting each other. Yeah, they were fighting each other. What the fuck? Is he like a friend or something? Because his is fucking ass ran the other way. As a matter of fact, he actually helped me more than anything. Uh, is he climbing? No, I think he was helping me. What the heck? I guess he wasn't trying to help. I think he. I think the CPU fucked up and like, was, was attacking their own dudes accidentally. some way he didn't notice all that no 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 oh, now he's being a little bitch it's just us now maledetto che il diavolo ti porti stami lontano Oh shit, he's. Well, might as well take care of these dudes. The hidden ability is good, but it's kind of hard to parry sometimes. I guess that's why we got that glove thing, but even then, it's kind of hard. Did they say, oh, your breath? Okay, I'm pulling out the sword. Fuck this. Come here. Thankfully, I have a. I have like. 15 medicine pouches or medics or whatever the fuck you call them. Damn, this dude is not taking any damage. You know what, dude? Oh, fuck it, I'm bringing out the big boys. Oh shit, I'm getting fucked. He did that fucking <laughs> buddy ass fucking thing. Okay, so these dudes are gonna be definitely a problem. The dudes with the like heavy mace thing. Think much again. There we go. Oh, he fell on this. Damn it. As long as they don't start like fucking following us, we should be good. All right. Oh shit. There we go. That wasn't too hard. Now Firenze will judge you for what you've done. It's over. It's all over. Meglio essere felici in questa vita e aspirare a esserlo nella prossima. Requiescat in pace. Hey, that's some bomb ass quote though, I ain't gonna lie. Better to be happy while you're alive, pretty much what he was trying to say, than to find happiness when you're dead. Damn, that shit hits. Francesco? That shit's brutal. Did Ezio do that? Oh no, he didn't. I was gonna say that shit's fucking brutal. Holy fuck. 
Yo, that was savage as fuck. I ain't gonna lie. Damn. What the? F that shit was crazy. It's pretty cool though. I'm not gonna lie. That shit was kind of bomb. That was pretty sus. I think we're finally going back to Desmond now. <gasps> Unless we go back to uh, what was his name, Lorenzo? I kind of like this armor. I didn't like it at first when I bought it because I'm like, eh, it's too leathery. You know, it looks like a early 2000s boy band, but it's kind of, I'm kind of liking it. I can't wait to unlock the metal one though. The metal one looks fucking bomb from what I remember. I low key kinda like when they do this. It really brings back the you know the the essence of like the OG, you know, Assassin's Creed. When I was six years old I fell into the Arno. I soon found myself drifting down and into darkness. Certain my life was at an end. Instead, I woke to the sound of my mother weeping. At her side stood a stranger, soaking and smiling at me. My mother explained that he had saved me. And so began a long and prosperous relationship between two families. Yours and mine. I am sorry I could not save your father and brothers. You have nothing to apologize for. I believe Jacobo de Pazzi played a part in their deaths. They attack on you as well. I need to find him. That coward fled before we could arrest him. Have you any leads? No. They've hidden themselves well. They? Jacopo was not the only conspirator to escape. If they work with Jacopo, they were surely involved in the plot against my family as well. Give me their names. Antonio Maffei, Archbishop Francesco Salviati, Stefano da Bagnone, and Bernardo Baroncelli. Bene, I will go and see my uncle. He has men stationed in the countryside. Wait, before you go. A codex page. I took it from the files of Francesco de Pazzi, seeing as he clearly no longer needs it. I've always had an interest in things of antiquity, as did your father. It is meaningful to me as well. Then consider it a gift. Che il Signore ci protegga. I'm pretty, pretty sure he was gonna give us like a uh, cape, wasn't he? Like a special cape or something? I could be wrong. Could be re rem remembering like the wrong game or some shit. Jacopo di Pazzi, the money. This guy was the head of the Pazzi family, and he ran their banking business. An associate of Lorenzo de Medici, he had nothing against him personally, so he hired four Templar hitmen to take care of the situation for him. Bernardo di Bandino Baroncelli. Brought up to hate the Medici family for the exile of his cousins, Baroncelli ran the numbers in the Pazzi bank by day and murdered for the Templars at night. It was Baroncelli who delivered the first blow. Stefano de Bagnone. Known for his cruelty, Bagnone was trained in Rome as a Templar butcher. It was Bagnone who stabbed Lorenzo de Medici in the back. Antonio Maffei. Witness to the sacking of Volterra by Florentine mercenaries, Maffei blamed Lorenzo. He joined the Templars to seek revenge. It was Maffei who slashed Lorenzo's neck. Archbishop Francesco Salviati. Convinced he would be the next Archbishop of Florence, Salviati was enraged when Lorenzo stood in his way. But the Templars were there to heal his wounds. It was Salviati who marched their troops into the city. All right, so I'm guessing we already pretty much we unlocked the like part of the tree for the pots and conspirators. So I guess these are the dudes we're gonna go after next. So I guess the tree of like you know the ones we're supposed to hunt down pretty much uh, grew larger. But yeah, I think this is where I'm gonna be ending the video, guys. Uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed the video though. But uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. I've marked the Palazzo Medici on your map. 
In order to achieve 100% sync with Ezio's life, you should go exploring. 